church with my friend Eli here. Yeah, and we watched a video of our pastor, and he was saying the prayer to accept Jesus, and if you haven't already, and do your heart. And Skyler, my friend that lives in my neighborhood, I came, he came to church with me, and he said that, and at home he prayed about it too. So what, basically what I did is I, I he took me here for the first time, and I just had a really great time. And then, and then at the at the end of the day, we had this video of someone um, accepting Jesus into her heart. And so I went home, and at night, whenever it was all quiet, I laid down in my bed and prayed and let and accepted Jesus in my heart. So I said, "Dear Jesus, um, please accept me. I'm sorry for all my sins. I should not have done them." And Amen. So Skylar, how did you feel after you accepted Jesus? I just like I I loosened up. And because like that night I had like a headache and then when I did that it all just loosened up and I fell asleep easily and then in the morning I felt great unlike every other night because I never sleep that well and so that night I slept really well and then I got up and I just, rem I just always remember since then that I accepted Jesus in my heart and I was glad. It's pretty simple right? Yeah. Yes. It's really simple. Admit. So admit all your sins and and t you have to tell someone and tell Jesus and God. And B is for believe. Believe in that God is real. And what did what did Jesus do for you? He he died on the cross to save our sins, and everyone needs to believe that. He died for our freedom, and he died for our sins, and he died so we could actually go to heaven. C is for confess and confess about all your sins and, and confess that he's the Lord of your life. If you'd like to know that you have uh, a relationship with the God who created you, you pray this with me right now. Dear God in heaven, thank you for loving me and thank you for Jesus. God, I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and my life and cleanse me. Today, I place my faith and trust in Jesus, your son, who died on the cross for me and rose on the third day so that I might have life. Today, I trust Jesus and I confess him as my Lord. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer just now and you meant it, everything's changed for you. Your sins are forgiven. Your father in heaven loves you and wants to have a relationship with you. Find a church nearby so that you can be around other believers who can help you grow in your relationship with Jesus. Hey, thanks for watching today. We hope that your life has been changed by Jesus, whether it just happened or it's happened in the past. And we also hope that you will share this life-giving hope, these videos, to anyone that you know so that they too might have the joy of knowing Jesus. Blessings to you and everyone that you know, and hope you have a great day.